Hello, welcome to Creator Classes and today we are starting our new series The Surface Area and Volume of 3D Solids In this series we will cover everything about the volume as well as the surface area different formula, the various questions on various 3D solids. Firstly, we will cover the cuboid and cube in the three lectures, theory, questions, everything. Then in the next two lectures, we will cover the cylinders. In the next two lectures, we will cover the cone. In the next two lectures, we will cover the hemisphere and sphere. In the end, we will provide you the summary of the complete surface area and volume series which will also include the complete formula list in the PDF format which you can use for your exam a day before or for the revision purpose. So without wasting any further time, let's start with the introduction of surface area and the volume. Here it is. Till now we are dealing with the 2D objects, the objects that can be drawn in a plane figure, that is in a 2D plane, like your notebook or a board. The examples of 2D figure that we have covered are circle, triangle, rectangle, polygons, etc. So till now we have covered the 2D shapes, now we will cover the 3D shapes, that is the 3D objects. So first of all, we will understand what is a 3D object. 3D objects are the objects which are in the 3 dimension, that is they cover X, Y and Z axis, that is they cover all the 3 dimensions. The base of any 3D object is a 2D shape. For example, let's take a rectangular plane. Okay, this is a rectangle. If we keep on adding the similar rectangle or the congruent rectangle over each other, we will got a 3D shape. That is the shape of a cuboid. It means that if we keep on adding the 2D shape one over each other, that is if keep on piling the 2D shape one over each other, we got a 3D shape. This is just for an example. We will take one more case. Here we will take a 2D circular shape. This is a circle and if we keep on piling the same circle over each other, we will got a cylinder. Okay, got the fundamental. The base of any 3D object is a 2D object. Okay. So got the basic understanding of the 3D object. In this lecture, we will cover the several type of 3D objects which includes the cuboid, cube, cylinder, cone, pyramid, sphere, prism and many more 3D objects. Let's move further. While doing the 2D shapes, we have seen the two components of the 2D shapes as the perimeter and the area of the figure. Perimeter is the boundary of the figure and the area is the surface enclosed by the figure. Similarly, the 3D shapes is also having two major components that is the surface area and the volume. We will take this one by one. Firstly, the surface area. Surface area is the total area of the surface of the object. For example, if we take a cuboid, the detail we will see in the cuboid chapter. Just for the basic fundamental, we are taking this cuboid. The cuboid is basically formed from six rectangle. That is, it is having the six faces and all the six faces are rectangle. Every 3D object is formed from a 2D object and the base of this cuboid is the 2D object that is a rectangle. So the total surface area of a cuboid will be the area of the six faces that is area of the six rectangle. Getting the point, surface area is the total area of the surface. Here for the cuboid, the surface is composed of six rectangle. So the surface area of a cuboid will be equal to area of the six rectangle. That is the area of the surface. Got the point? For further clarity, let's take a cylinder. If you observe this cylinder, the cylinder is composed of the basic 2D shape that is the circle. It is having two faces which are circular in nature and it is also having a curved surface. So we can say the surface area of this cylinder is the area of these two circles and area of this curved surface. Okay, getting the point, surface area is the total area of the surface of the object. One point to be noted here is that if we are having a hollow object, 
hollow object which is hollow from the inside so it can have the outer surface as well as inner surface okay so you have to focus in the question whether the question framer is asking for the outer surface or for the inner surface if nothing is mentioned in the question about outer or inner then generally it is considered as the outer surface getting the point if nothing is given then we will calculate the outer surface if specifically it is mentioned for the inner surface of a hollow object then only we will go for the inner surface got it let's move further our next fundamental is the volume we can correlate this fundamental with the area in the 2d shape in the 2d shape we have seen area is the total space enclosed by the 2d shape here volume is the total capacity of the 3d object that is the total space that this 3d object is taking okay got the point volume is the total space enclosed by a 3d object let's understand the concept of the volume with a small example let's take a rectangle okay we have taken a rectangle that is a 2d shape if we keep on adding the similar rectangle over this rectangle a pile of the rectangle will be formed this shape is known as cuboid that is the base of a cuboid is rectangle and if we keep on adding the rectangle over each other we got a cuboid so the total space enclosed by all this rectangular space or all this rectangular plane will be equal to the volume of the cuboid that is the total space enclosed by all this rectangle getting the point it will be equal to the total space enclosed by this cuboid okay got it this is the volume so we got two fundamental the surface area that is the total area of the surface and second the volume that is the total capacity or the space enclosed by the 3d object getting the point surface area is measured in meter square it is area so it is meter square or mm square in square whatever it is unit square okay and the volume it is measured in meter cube that is centimeter cube inch cube basically it is unit cube cube will be there because it is covering the three dimension x y and z so volume it is meter cube surface area it is meter square if you observe every 3d shape is having a face like in the cuboid the face is rectangle in the cylinder the face is circle in a cone the face is also a circle in a cube the face is a square in pyramid the face is a rectangle so basically every 3d object is a face and that face is a 2d shape got the point okay students we have done with the basic introduction to the 3d shapes from the next lecture onwards we will take the individual 3d objects and we will deal with the surface area volume and the questions related to the 3d objects and in the next lecture we will cover the cuboid and the cube so that's for this video thank you very much and best of luck for the exam you are preparing for note that this is the series on volume and surface area of various 3d solid so best of luck and have a great day bye for now